there. Well, ever since that radioactive leak in Monticello, there have been questions about why it took so long for the public to be notified about the incident. And now we're starting to learn more about who knew what and when they knew it. Fox 9 obtained every single email between city officials and XL Energy about the leak. And we found that the city was notified about the high tritium levels in groundwater months earlier than the public than was publicly stated. Well, meantime, XL is bringing that plant back online after a temporary outage. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey here with us now. And Courtney, you went through hundreds of emails today. Yeah, Amy, the city has maintained that it didn't know about the leak until the end of February, but emails between city leaders and XL Energy executives show correspondence about elevated tritium levels long before then. Outside the gates of the Monticello nuclear power plant, questions remain. As residents at public meetings like this one press officials on why it took four months for public notification of a radioactive leak. I was not getting any answers. This was a major situation of defer and deflect. In a news release from March 17th, the city says it learned about the extent of the leak at the end of February. But emails obtained by Fox 9 tell a different story. On November 28th, someone from Excel Energy notifies Monticello City Administrator Rachel Leonard that they've detected tritium levels above a reportable threshold in a monitoring well at the plant. It isn't until three months later, when Excel starts requesting engineering and building permits, that Leonard starts asking questions. In an email dated February 23rd, she asks, Is there any danger to groundwater in the area? Is there any danger to the river? Even earlier this month, some top city officials were still in the dark. The city's utilities superintendent writes to state health officials that he's heard indirectly about a tritium leak, asking if the Department of Health has been notified and if there's information I need to know from a public health standpoint. Asked about the discrepancy in follow-up emails today, a city spokesperson tells us there was no information at that time about the source of the tritium. In other words, they weren't explicitly told there was a leak in that first notification. Defending the choice not to alert the public sooner by saying the federal and state regulating agencies determine the appropriate governmental responses to incidents. While Excel Energy has promised better communication into the future. The public is telling us they want more transparency, so we'll be more transparent as we go forward. Also in those emails, some frustration from the city administrator about how the city was somehow being blamed for lack of public notification, all while she says state officials weren't returning her calls. All this as state and federal officials have maintained that the public is not at risk. Randy, Amy. All right, Courtney, thank you.